for uh, I met. Uh, she was at the. Met who? I can't remember part? if she personally was at the racetrack. Oh. But her people was at the racetrack. That's who it was. Oh, they had on the phone. Okay, That's the so first did, thing I've ever heard of Dusty. Okay, so how did you make it to the racetrack? How did you end up there? Uh, the team, the whole President yes. Hunter Nation team went. Wait, let me pause this for a second. Tracy says Ernie's going around panels with Kel's picks for an inner. And whatever else. Me? Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's um, Kale's or not. Yes, I just got but the message to the person invite... who texted me, but I didn't see the other ones. Did I'll take a look in a minute. Or why did you choose that location? Oh, shit. Okay, I got a message. Hold on one sec. Oh, that ain't good. Well, that's not good. I just got a not good message. That he's on somebody's panel using somebody's picture and threatening their son. And it's being allowed on that panel. Because that person's triggered, so they're letting the other triggered person be triggered. And I think you know what I'm talking about. And an, an older guy, maybe Dale, maybe his last name or first name Dale. I don't know. But uh, they had handed us a packet. Go ahead. Kelly. Is her uh, yeah, that sounds familiar. Okay, so do you remember where they were from? No, they said they were from around the area. We actually went, I thought, to their house and picked up the files. I'm not sure. I can't remember. It's been a long time ago. We had like, files? let's see, I was in the Chargers. Uh, everybody else was in the Hummer. And I think we went over to, uh, I can't remember. It was along the way. And uh, picked up a bunch of files, and they had some stuff in the bag, and you know, just things that you know it brought of interest. And I didn't, I didn't even know nothing about the Summer Wells case. We hadn't even looked into it, and we reached out to the owner and files from who? Do you know who GGFK is? That GG heavy set. Oh, that, that's the woman. Yeah, that's the one at four o'clock in the morning that undone a robe and showed me all she had. Yeah, I, no, I'll never forget that. Lord God, GG. I mean, if it's the same one, I, look, I don't know the YouTubers' names. I, I, I don't know these people. I don't well, get into like YouTube, or YouTube you, at all. Ever. The reason I'm asking you is, is last night we watched a um, interview on Ziggy's with Dusty, Kathy, and Kelly, and what was the other lady's name? Moon, Moon something, right? So whatever. Um, and they were on there saying, and Kathy was talking as if she knew who you were personally and had your number in her back pocket and you guys spoke all the time. At least that's what it seemed like. And then she called you to help Dusty. Is that what happened? Take Dusty's case, name was never mentioned. If someone had told me it would have been a psychic or something like that, I wouldn't have wasted okay. my time, to be honest with you. So Kathy writes you <laughs> and she asks you to help her and her team at the speedway but she didn't mention us we didn't know we didn't know there was going to be another team there whatever there when we got there we thought it was going to be us so we, hell we we dressed to you know tread water and do search we that's what we that's what we dressed as um what we was already mean? working like kathy and her husband but you just said kathy and kathy and her husband wrote you and asked you to pick them up and take them they they actually uh no we did not take them we did not take them we just met them Oh. We met them and they handed off the stuff. They handed off the stuff to us and the files and that's pretty much all I recall on that. Then we went over to the racetrack and then we had a, we, the owner had uh, gave us permission to search it and do all that. And I didn't know it was going to become what it become. And still to this okay, day, so what happened there. when you go out there? What happened between you and Dusty? I mean, we we never got in our way. We we did our own thing. We brought a dog and we we were searching. That's all we know. That's all we knew what to do. We were searching. And we searched for about six, seven hours, I guess, five, something like that. I don't know. I can't recall. And it was. Okay. So where did you and Dusty have your falling out? Again, I didn't know who Dusty was. And she went on somebody's panel and said some stuff. Hey, hold on one second. I've got some company. Hold on one second. Okay. I'm curious to find out. Just reading Dusty. random comments. Well, she found him fast. Well, like Dusty had contacted after it was after it, and she's like, "Yeah, that was my team or something like that." And I'm like, I didn't even know who it was. I didn't know who it was, and then I looked into Dusty, and Some Dusty had a bad people. criminal background, and I don't know much Some about it. I, I feel like, you know, she went on the, the way. I'm sorry, what was that? I said Somebody some asked, people are paying attention to what he says. That Anastasia Beaverhausen in there just asked, didn't he just say they lived close and stopped along the way, and now he's done changed his story about how they. Ended up. Oh, because some of the people in the chat are noticing certain details. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Panels against us, and that's all I know, really. I mean, that's. 
So do you know anything about the truck and the motel and the hotel? Because you're the one that posted the video about the motel, right? <laughs> Predator Hunter Nation posted that. Well, it's either, it's either me or Tina One that posted it, I think. It's been so long ago. We were, I've been in so many things besides the end. I mean, do you still give have me a little bit more about it. I mean, uh, it's probably in the archives somewhere. When there was five children that Dusty believed was being trafficked out of the motel, and you guys were recording at night, remember? And five children. there was a blood truck somewhere in the vicinity. Dusty gave three locations. Do you I don't remember, remember that. the location He's, the blood truck was in. He laughs so much, he can't keep up with his laughs. Do you, I don't, this story doesn't sound familiar to me. Maybe it'll come back. Yeah, it does. The, does to you? You've heard, okay. him, you've heard him talk about. Not really. I don't know. <laughs> what about the Bena toys that was found? No, I've, heard about, I've heard about that. that I, you know, for me personally. What's that? I said they're probably talking about the bag of toys that was found in Candace's yard. Field those <laughs> in the yard, though. Um, I'm kind of remember what we actually recovered. Uh, I can't even remember. I mean, it's been so long ago, and there was a, there was something about um. A bin. Uh, I do remember. I do remember that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tell me you around when the was doll was found inside the bin. <laughs> I thought it was in the trash barrel. Somebody threw away some dildos in the yardo. This is candid reaction. We found a panel that somebody that he was on last night, and I've never heard of this channel. It is called Crystal's Prime Conversation, and I, somebody sent it, and we're just seeing what happened. And then we got other things. There's all kind of shit going on. No, I was not. Yeah, I didn't think you were. I just wanted to ask. Um, can okay, I ask I have... what happened with? Okay, so I know how you and Benny started fighting. I said, when did you meet Benny? Should become a new thing, Tracy. No, Benny contacted us after um, we were supposed to have the Don Wells interview at the racetrack area when we were heading to Don Wells' house to do the interview. Benny contacted me later on that night after Cher Cher had uh, canceled the uh, the meeting, and I was pissed. Uh, anyways, it, 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 we supposed to had a meeting with Don Wells, and later on that night, we was back at the compound, and pretty much uh, Benny had uh, reached out, and he said he was some kind of interviewer. Again, the YouTube was new to us. We didn't know much about Dang it. it. And I went on his panel, and I can't remember what happened. I, I mean, it was a pretty decent little meeting, and the next day, it pretty much went to hell. Benny Key turned against us, and didn't know Benny then. So. The whole story. I didn't know this well, I don't know much about, about that. I mean, that was just blame. That, you know, Benny Keaton about that. Up, said that I did it. You know, just a bag of dildos and pizza. See Jody's comment there? Just a bag of dildos and pizza. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Something. But I didn't. I've only went over to Candace's twice. Trenchers. I've only been to Candace's twice. And uh, I don't know where all that come from. I don't even think. I, I, again, I just think it was just something was said. Remember I don't when know. You brought I the didn't dog food. too much into it because I didn't have nothing to do with it. So. So when you went up on the hill to take Candace pizza, did you have plans prior to going up on the hill with Candace to bring her the pizza? <laughs> so I was on the phone with her before that. I was going to set up an interview and she said, you know, she asked for a pizza and then we brought her pizza for her. It was, I mean, we wanted to go over an hour and 15 minutes for nothing over there. Yeah, but she wasn't home, right? And you were walking around, you know, up on the back She locked door. the door. She was passed out. You could see her feet. She was hiding. She was passed out. I think she was hiding. She went and passed out. Okay. So how did you meet up with her the next day? I don't know if it was actually the next day or the day after that. Uh, I can't remember. I can't recall the times on when she came over. She actually came over to, uh, well, let, let's start with that night. The police was calling on us and uh, it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. Benny Keys had had all the I remember the that. that there, I remember when they got called trying on. Trying to arrest us. Yeah, I remember that. But how did you end up getting in touch with her and meeting her the next day? Well, I had her messenger, and we would talk on messenger constantly. And she said she was sorry that she fell asleep or something like that. And I can't remember. Or we might have been on the phone like talking that. that time. That's how you know he's lying. Okay, so what I remember is when he when they went back with the dog food, though they were you know made it sound like they were helping, and, and Lisa helped out, and they picked up. They actually spent a lot of money. I think it was like a hundred and something bucks on dog food, different bags of dog yeah. food. And I remember when they walked it up, the police were there and they were changing a tire. I think they got a flat tire and they were asked to leave the property from my memory. Is that how it went? And they said, they can, we just, can, we, can we just put this food over here? We just spent money on it. And they were allowed to put it by the driveway, I think, near the bucket, maybe. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that what happened? 
Yeah, they got caught on twice when him and Xander went up there and with the dog food and um, part. You know that night him and Xander went up there with that pizza. Yeah. They got caught I remember. Again. Yeah, I remember and they got the called on food. then because some people were saying they were trespassing, but I think I think she actually did invite him, but I think she changed her mind. That's what I remember. Or that's what was presented anyways at the time. He she, he says that she and ask her, ask him to bring her a pizza. He says that, but Candace said she didn't ask him that. Oh, so she did try to cover it, traders. Heard. Okay. So, Tina is part of your team, right? Or was? We, we we still hang out. Well, I mean, we still, you know, we 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 still call each other family. So. Okay, and does she have? Do you know? Does she have family in Greene County or Washington County in Tennessee? I'm not really sure where she has family at to be honest with you i never really i only met a couple i only met like a couple of members of the family and they all came to the compound <laughs> a compound you have a compound uh, you got a compound what's a compound well i call it that i call it he must be talking <laughs> about Venus. Like, i wasn't sure if it was that new shelter no that, that, the that, place that. where we get tina's compound the other compound yeah i don't i don't think okay the restaurant either. yeah the restaurant the Tina's together. place there, the Hemp Cafe. The Hemp Cafe, yeah, maybe that was no. their compound. You know, we do our training and stuff, <laughs> and, you know, compound training facility thing. It's, it was in the, the you know, it was outside. Pitch. We had a bunch <laughs> of woods and wooded areas and stuff, and we had different places we'd go and we'd actually train. We actually did train. So, I'm gonna anyway, my you know, it's new here and there no. when it comes to the summer wealth but Yeah. Okay, so going back a little bit, I was watching one of your old videos. This is a channel called Crystal Crime Conversation. I lived in Tennessee at one time. Is that true? Well, it, it, at one time I lived about, well, I lived over in uh, Deerfield. I lived in Deerfield over there. Uh, it's probably about 10 minutes from Don. I was going to say, it was alleged a long time ago that he lived 12 miles from them. Do you know anything about that? 12 miles from the Wells house? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. That, that was alleged a while ago and he just said about 10 minutes away. So that would make sense. That would be about 12 miles probably. Okay. I know he used to live somewhere over around that area, but I don't, I don't know of it being... Did you ever live in Kingsport? Yes. Yeah. And do you know people around there? Yes. Like, do you know anybody who was, do you know anybody who is involved in Summer's case via witness, um, somebody who is a suspect or anybody who's covered the Summer Wells or anybody that knows the family prior to Summer going missing? Do you know anybody? from the area um i only know the people no not not personally but i just know that a lot of people reach out to me and they used to go to don wells and candace's when they had sex parties so i know those people you know i don't what people reached out to you that had sex parties well i hope you turned that into the tbi no one no one but you know they reach out to me after everything after i made my business in kingsport you had a business in kingsport Is parties. that what you just said that you after you made your business in Kingsport? Like P. Diddy type sex parties? No, I had my visits. I, I visited. I done a lot of field interviews in order to do certain things for Summer Wells case. I was at this second there. Uh, who'd you do them field? Now people run with that right there with what he just said and they take it for truth. Even though they don't believe other things that he says. When he says stuff like that, they believe him. But what you all know specifically? Just as good as what well what were as you, I do. What did he about, say that you meant specifically? about them having sex trafficking parties now if, if he true, that would be a big piece of evidence if that was something true i would say that yeah. that would be important yeah. info to turn in if somebody reached out to you yes definitely i would have turned it in exactly and you know that he would have if if he had 100 percent evidence that that was true he would turn that in for the glory from it you see what i'm saying and if, if not if that was true if not other youtubers that hear that kind of thing that are callers of this you know the people that are really into the case I'm sure people have reported that and said, hey, this guy said people reached out to him. So when you say stuff like that, then other people are open to grabbing that bit of info and turning it in. They might feel obligated to because some people are really into the case. You know, it's enough to be turned in when you say that anyways. I wouldn't do it, but I know some people would. And if it was true and others heard it and turned it in, law enforcement, TBI, whoever would have investigated that. Mm -hmm. And if, if it was true and they had evidence of it being true, we would have heard about it. See what I'm saying? You got to look past of what's being said and think and really think about okay now if this if this was true 
this, this, and this, and this would have happened and we would have known about it. That's why, that's what I say about people running with so much stuff just because you hear somebody else say it or you see it read in chat or you hear it coming from his mouth. You can't pick and choose on what you believe from him because he's a liar. He's a straight, full of shit liar until he can, and half the time you can't even believe that when he shows documents because they're fake. Mm -hmm. If I don't see it, like physically see it coming from him, not even a piece of paper, I want to see it physically coming from him before I believe it. Well, not only that, there was another comment made in chats recently. It might have been Daisy's, but don't quote me on that one. The location of the conversation. But he did say, he did state, and I know others recorded it, that he has some info that he's holding on to that he hasn't turned in yet. Or some things that he hasn't turned in yet. And that, again, is another one of those comments that some of these people on the case can call in and say, hey, this dude said he has some stuff he hasn't turned in. That's enough to for people to say, hey, that guy's withholding evidence. I'm not saying you are. I'm just saying other people might think that based on the comments they hear. I'm you know why he in, says that? But for some the people might turn that in though that some people might do that for what he's doing right now when he says that i've still got evidence then he's got these bigger um true crime creators coming and knocking at his email wanting him to come over on their panels and do lives with him so they can question him about all this information that he's got you mm -hmm. see what i'm saying you see how that that goes makes people gravitate toward him he's got he's got the deets he's got the info he knows this and that and the third about what's going on with Summer's case and with Candace and Don. And then he, when he goes on their panels, he makes up the most elaborate shit that he can come up with. Disgusting for that matter. Not just elaborate, but disgusting off the top of his head. All right, Let's see what else. Old interviews with. So what I did is I went to Model City Apartments and I went to Cloud Reaching Apartments out. and just places that's, you know, just kind of pretty much filling it out. Uh, of course you can't do those, you know, like on video and well, you can do them on video, but not on live. And uh, this, I used to be a corrections chief in uh, Sullivan County, so I had a lot of pull with a lot of uh, people that have been that have been in that area. So I know, you know, I, I kind of, you know, kind of know where I'm at. And King yeah, you were home at one time. Do you have family in that area? No, not not really. No. No. So how did you end up in Kingsport? <laughs> Well, I lived over in King. I lived over Kingsport when I worked. I worked for Sullivan County. I was, uh, well, I worked for Sullivan County. Asking I, was, the right uh, questions. I don't, I don't know her. I ain't never watched her before, but she's asking the right questions. Yeah, yeah, I've never heard of her, but it seems like she's got some good questions. You're right. Mm -hmm. Captain, there, I was, I was, I was a captain, out probably, with her and then I made it the chief over at the corrections facility. They call it uh, Sullivan County Community Corrections. Sex ring stang. Why did you leave? That sounds like a pretty good job. That's true. I left on the day I, I left on the day when I was going to go get married. They had become they they uh, was under investigation, and uh, I'd already had my interviews, and I was finding out more and more about the the administration team that they had, had and I found out that some of them was felons already, and <laughs> they were taking money from uh, just different organizations, and just you know. Sonia in their chat over there says sex parties. Is that what he just said? No, what we were part of the TDOC, so I mean, when I left. Uh, like, I literally yeah. left on wedding day. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, actually, Jody Sue says, I have asked about that. SCSO laughs at that claim. Uh, wait, wait, wait. The next day was my wedding. But what's the TBOC? <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. Oh, that's a that's Tennessee Department of Corrections. Oh, okay. And um, now you have stated that you have been in contact with the TBI several times. Is that truth? And if so, how would you have that availability to them? Hold on one second. Is that real Andy B and Jody in here? Is that the you real Jody? You see what he just done? The question. The question. Yep. Divert. Yep. That's been verified. That's the real deal. Mm -hmm. We'll see how this pans out. You're sure that that's been verified? That's the real deal. Yeah, I'm 100 percent positive. Andy B, you know you. Okay, Jody Sue, you know me. Andy B, you know me. You know. That I did work at the uh, Sullivan County Community Correction. That's all been verified already, even through even through talking to the FBI. And Some TBI of the comments and, over uh, there are funny. Homeland, so, <laughs> yeah, but, you know, I didn't know what what was going on. I didn't know what was really. Look at Blackwood. So you knew Jody Sue and Andy prior to Summer Gang <laughs> yes. Sex party. So did the dildos no, belong no. to him? There's some met, funny uh, questions uh, over there. Jody Sue, uh, heard of heard of Andy? Yeah, through the through the Summer Wells thing. You've met Jody Sue in person? No, just through online. Okay, that's what I thought. 
Okay, so um, so you don't know anybody in the Kingsport area, not even people you've worked with or in the Hawkins County area? The line in ranchers. Well, I knew uh, criminal. I knew the I know the you know the people that came and uh, had to, that we had in our facility. I knew those people, um, and they'd helped me once before with a missing child over in Kingsport. You started uh, to say, and so I, to just just say, I knew the criminals from the hay house and then he flipped that and then he said i knew people that worked on investigations with us over there see you see what he's i missed that part like, people catch, need to pay closer catch. attention to what he says i got distracted by the comments in the chat i'm not gonna lie yeah. anyone else hear this 14 year old girl story because it's new to me i can't really say it the right way do you know how to address that i get the story kind of mixed up That's wasn't the there some kind of a rescue it. i know somebody in here would know about the rescue probably constance but He's, he's talking about a rescue from over around in that area. He said somebody reached out to him and, and asked him. Or is it the, with the girl area. with the mom? Is it about the, the girl with the mom story where he rescued them? Yeah, and that, that, that got the bunk too. But he, he, oh, what he's right. talking about is she asked him about, you know, about knowing people and stuff over there. And he's saying that somebody from over there reached out to him that knew him from being over there before that their 14-year-old was missing and knew that he'd done stuff like that, would he come over there and help try to find her? But that's the first I've ever heard of that story from being over in that area, like Kingsport, Johnson City, and all that. Constance said she heard him talk about it. I've never heard him talk about that one. I figured she'd know. Okay, hold on. I'm going to look for a clip real quick. I want to show you. I just got to find it. Thank you for coming up, Ernie. I'm just trying to clear up a lot of misinformation, and I am still very so curious. Jody's got a question. Jody's got a question. Right? Jody's got a question. You remember the guy with the hand issue? The hand issue. Oh, give me some more on that. Cause Doesn't sound familiar to I me. Really, uh, I don't. Guy with a hand issue. I, 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 look, I've had a lot happen to me since then, and you know, to be honest with you, you know, with being what it is, it's more of a controlled situation. And uh, but if you could tell me more about what you're talking about, I may refresh my memory on it. Okay, I got the clip. Hit that thumbs up. <laughs> and now for the future presentation. When doves cry. Hey, brother. How you doing, man? Good. Oh, man. Okay, so take this. Oh, God. Let me uh, well, pull I'm this right off now, to kind of right now. Running for my life right now. Uh, Benny is actually connected to uh, the people who has a hit <laughs> on me right now. I've already been bad. I've already done that. I know why they're doing this with Don Wells and protecting him. It's because of all the money they're raking in oh, on their YouTube and stuff. That's why I share. We started shaking her up. And now she has to have somebody to throw the blame on. She's throwing it on us. I've got all the screenshots, all the threats, everything. She's trying to work agreement out with us, right? Well, she was, and now we, we pretty much said no to her, and now she has to go to the police. She knows about <laughs> Summer. She's pretty much automatically already said that. You can tell it in their feeds and everything when they start talking about it. But if you, if you want me to tell what I know, I can. Well, ho hold on. Be before we <laughs> go any further, have you went to the TBI with any information that you knew? Is there any, is it any drops like that that has to do with the, the investigation well, just well, everything, related to the everything, everything that comes to us, we turn over to the TBI, everything. This okay. is new. This just happened like an hour ago. I'm not even pause, in place. Pause it right there. Pause it right there. 45 minutes ago. I've got all the screenshots, got yeah. everything. I'm going to do it really. So a lot of people don't understand, but we had open portals to the TBI. We had like, even with the, even with, even when we done a predator investigation <laughs> with the Department of Homeland Security. We've all open portals? Mm -hmm. He's meaning straight direct contact. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. I didn't know if you had a comment. Continue. I was laughing at him. Okay. <laughs> Always had open portals. I don't know if you guys understand what the open portals is. Do you understand? Do you know what that is? Open portals? No, I don't. Can you tell me? Okay, so so a portal is something that's a direct it's a direct. It's a direct all the way to <laughs> So when you when you turn it when you turn in tips, like with these mission children, when you turn in tips to the TBI, what it happens is it goes into a big let's just say uh storage let's just say it goes into a big storage thing and then they have certain people that pick through those and if they think they're credible if they think they're credible then they get passed on well we had an open portal means that we could turn our stuff right directly in like we've always had we've always had that we've always had that we make that we make that announcement with law enforcement even with the department of homeland security we had so so we was able to get her is that you or her and it was both of us as he's a line stack of shit they take tips from anybody you can call 1-800-TBI-FIND. Is Predator Hunter Nation, is it a 501c3 or what is it? And I don't the know. In, in, in the beginning, 
in the beginning in the beginning uh it was just a what can i say and what can i say hold on a second whether or not it's a 501c3 if it turned out to be one i think they was working on something like that maybe getting it turned into a charity i'm not really sure if it ever was um i, I gave prayer to 100 nations tina and Zander, uh before i left pretty much and uh i you know i, I wanted them to have it so i kind of stepped to the side uh, so you're no longer a so, sorry about that i'm well i mean i am and i ain't uh i mean if, if they needed help they know that i would help them any way i can um we do work still as a team on certain things uh there's people don't understand there's other things that we have that's been going on that we're working with and we work with different law enforcement we work with a lot of different law enforcement when we just can't come out and just say it we can't just come out and say that we're doing this and doing that i mean that would be that would be stupid that would give her points and positions everything away so you know um we do work we do work with certain agencies let's just say that and uh so, and Xander so, mostly work with them. I, I'm not. I'm not as affiliated with it anymore. I'm not as affiliated with it anymore. Uh, I've got my own things. I do. I do a. You know, when it comes time, I like to do a lot of uh, private protection stuff like that. So that's that's me. But go ahead. Go ahead. Question. Okay. So at the beginning of this clip, they was talking about you and Benny and um, how Benny had people put a hit out on you. Can you tell me about that? Well, I forgot about the Benny stuff. Well, when we first started, okay, so when we first started and we announced that we was uh, coming in on the Summer Wells case, holy hell, it was crazy. Um, like really, right after we began doing things and started, Don Wells and Rich out, I, I can't remember if he reached out to me or I reached out to I, I can't even remember. Cause I think it was me. And he agreed to, uh, and I got some people to have him agree to, uh, it was Dalton's mom, Dalton's mom. Dalton's mom knew Don Wells from high school, she said, or some kind of school. So she reached out to him and set the interview up. Whether she went directly through him or who she went through, I don't know. I have no idea. Only thing I know is I had a guarantee interview with him, and uh, <laughs> that's how that's how it all began, pretty much. And Benny, Benny was trying to get an end or an end with Don Wells. I remember him telling me that um, you know after I talked to Benny a couple times, it was on panel. Everything was on live. Benny would never do anything off off live. Really, he wanted that everybody to be seen, shown. I mean, uh, he did call me a couple times and, you know, in the beginning, he did call me a couple times and we talked some things out, but, uh, he was always talking, how hey, you got to end, you got to end with Don or anything, you, got, you know, you got to end with him. I'm like, no, so I really did don't you know, know him. Ben never... prior? No, not prior to summer. No. So how would he know to reach out to you? Because we was on live and it went viral when we was on live about summer wells, when we announced so... it, we was, uh. See, we so reached out with Summer. So when Summer first went missing, when Summer, first, Summer was missing two or three months before we had uh, even came in. We, and it came into the picture. The day Summer went missing, we were shooting our first uh, predator bus over to Newport Park in uh, Newport, Tennessee, and, guys, and that yeah, was on another case. I remember that. I remember. Well, I remember looking at clips of that. Mm. Summer goes missing. The TBI. The alert goes out. You're shooting another case. You've seen the alert, right? I have worked. I have worked with U.S. Marshals. Yes, got I have worked with them and helped them <laughs> before. Yes, I have. If that answers that question. Oh, shit. As a matter of fact, in 2006 and 2007, I was defensive tactics for the seminars. You got headbutted by a cow with yeah, but, their, how did uh, Benny, but how did Benny get a hit out on you? So we found out that Benny had people in Cock County. Benny had people in Cock County, and I don't know if they're relatives. Some people say they're relatives of his or whatever. And uh, they followed us. They stopped us. They like. Wait a minute. From what I remember, when the hit went out, the Benny thing wasn't that like a reward, like the five grand reward that a couple different creators pitched in. Do you remember anything like that, Leslie? If you're busy, I'll just yeah, that's that's what that. Is that what they're talking about? He first got them once. At, at, no, it, it. Or is that a different this, one? Because I remember those up. The total was up to five grand, and I remember I think Rap and Smokey were both going to donate to that. What he's saying on AB's live was way before that ever happened what he's probably discussing there now with her yeah. is what he's trying to divert it over to is when Benny and Rap and Jimbo yeah, uh, I remember like a YouTube coming together with that warrant. for the warrant when he then warrants first came out like we literally strung arm one one time and no, I don't. Hold, hold on a second. Let me find out something. Hold on one second. We literally had to strong arm this one person, and you know, the they, chat back on. We, we couldn't couldn't do nothing. Couldn't make so a call. We knew what was going on. Oh, it's gonna take a minute. Anyways, hold, hold on one second. I've got like, oh my god, so many emails and things coming in right now. Messages. Hold on one second. Okay. 
someone had asked me in the chat, uh, Julia Valentine, something like that, Valentine or whatever. I heard that name before. I'm not connected to her, nothing like that. I, I've heard the name before. Oh, I can't remember uh, remember exactly where it was from, but I did hear the name before. Okay, so Cher reaches out to you and asks, "Hey, cows, what?" Because you're stating well, that we had Cher, we had Cher, we had Cher, so we had Cher so uh, so shaken that she was. And she wanted to talk. And she's like, I can tell you. I can tell you what's going on. Please let me just. Because she thought she, her ass was in trouble. She thought she was in trouble. And I said, look, I'm not law enforcement. And she said, not. And then I knew I fucked up right there. I actually, uh, I messed up by just even saying anything about that. Because Sherry was tore out of hell. She didn't know what was going on. She was spitting out shit that, you know, it was just. It was ridiculous. But at that so time, she was Don her. Wells and Candace Wells as handlers. Whatever. her Their agent, I guess you'd say. Okay. So who canceled your appointment with Dawn again? Sure did, sure did. Okay, I thought you said Benny did. Was there two um, different No, times? Benny, uh, I didn't know Benny at that time. Okay, so the reason I'm asking you about the hit... Sherry used to be well, their spokesperson. first of all, how do you know they were his family members in Cobb County? Because we run backgrounds and stuff, and he's connected in the area, and some of his family is. So you called the police? The police were involved for you to get their names? No, I do my own stuff. I'm a licensed skip tracer. So how did you figure out their names? That's interesting. I ran a background on Benny and then we ran skip traces on his family. Ah, okay. So, um... I was a bounty hunter. Juanita? I was a bounty hunter in Tennessee for 20 years. Go ahead. When you were down in Tennessee, did you meet with Juanita? Juanita. Juanita. Is that the one who uh, opened the gate, maybe? Maybe had the gate open for us? I, I remember a Juanita, but I don't know exactly if we... Uh, if I was the one talking to her... Uh, she was another Juanita. psychic that had come down from New York. Some of the team talked to her. I might have said hi to her. I don't think I really had a conversation. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Like, uh, I mean, we talked to a few different people. We were surprised that there was another... There was a bunch of people there when we got there. So, it was kind of a hit and miss kind of thing and and then uh, when they had like this uh, I didn't even know until we got halfway through a search and we come back down we was coming around and uh, somebody had a spirit box is, is anyone close to finding your body Summer Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you following out? I'm oh, fine. Oh, no, Lisa, you ask it. Mm -hmm. Who I am? Ask what? Ask it. Mm -hmm. Knows who I am. Where got attention? Go ahead. Ask what? If it knows who I am, that's what it says. What's my name? Uh, ask what's my name. Spirits. D <laughs> Spirit, who is this man sitting here? What's his name? Nope. Do you know his name? It is. That's a very nice. That's what I was going to say. Uh, I know. So if, it, if it said Ernie, I was going to. Yeah. And I, was, I looked over at Xander. I said, What the hell did we get ourselves into? I'll never forget that. So, who had the spirit box? Was that Dusty? Spirit box? Who's talking to the spirit? It was her group. That's all I know about that. Okay. And did you meet the guy she was with? It was Raven and Dusty. You know Raven. Same. Mm -hmm. well, which guy? Which guy are you talking about? There was, there was okay. two or three different guys there. Barely well, remember. Why don't, you, why don't we do this? Who went down with you? When you were there, who was all with you? The whole Predator Hunter Nation team. How many? Seven or eight. Can you name them? I can only name a few. Name eight. Okay, name the few. Me, Tina, and Xander. I'm not scared okay. of you. And when you got there, who was there from Dusty's team? Clay won't come to Harlan. Well, I don't know him by name, so I mean, there's just there was about fifteen or 12, twelve or fifteen people. I've there. seen Bob around. I've seen him around in chats. So you and what did you say? Nine people. Eight or nine. We had two vehicles, two or three vehicles. I can remember about three or two vehicles. 
I'm looking for something here. So, do you know, because Cher was threatening you, and, um, Cher threatened me with the police, and I told her to go to the police. That's the thing. And she had, like, she went to the police and went over to the police station, and she done a live, in which she raked in hundreds of dollars on that live, saying, oh, pretty little nation threatening me, and all that. And she didn't even do nothing. There were no charges brought up. I want her to push charges, because I had something that was going to sink her ass. Because her and Don Wales and Benny Keys had a messenger, and they was in a messenger group way before Summer went missing, and I found that out. Do you know Frank Light? Or any of the Light family? We done an investigation on the lights and lot, uh, the yeah. lot theater yeah. stuff like that. So there was a there was a few connections here and there. I can't remember exactly what what we was actually asked to do. Um, I think I still I, at that time I still had private investigation license and stuff. I was uh I was working for another company. I can't say the company's name, whether it's government or not. But uh, we have actually done a oh god uh, on the was it called the lot theater or something like that? Yes. Um, Lamplight Theater. And that was where I was going. Do you happen to know somebody by the name Lamp of Jamie? The Lamplight. Yes. Jay who? Do you have Jay who? Jamie Wilson? Heard the name. You heard of the name? Um, they're the yes. people that were praying for summer, like at a campsite, and Don Wells had called the police on them. Do you remember that? Uh, frankly, yes. I, I mean, uh, barely. I barely remember it. So you don't know anybody that is related to that sector of YouTube? Not related, uh, but we had in. Uh, I, I think that'd be the best one to talk to on it. She she handled the. Uh, she actually was the one that handled these uh, lamp lock cases and stuff. She's the one who. Me, I was mostly into the predator investigations. Uh, that was my even even before predator. Even before predator hunter nation, you know, I done the. Uh, I worked at different organizations with. Predator hunt, so he to be the best one to talk to on the land. Okay, and um, I had a follow up question. I can't think of it. So Benny Hughes your... admitted on one of the live. Yeah, that's where I was going. Hold on. Let's see. Here's the problem. This live is two hours long. Would you be willing to come up again tomorrow night, and we can go over this whole live? Uh, we'll have to schedule it before tomorrow, after tomorrow night. I've got a lot of things. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'm booked. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm literally I'm working. I'm doing some prayer investigations, working with the Department of Homeland. I'm doing I'm doing some things right now outside of uh, Tennessee. So, <laughs> okay, here we'll listen for a little bit and see it. Oh Lord! I believe he was. Hold on. the phone calls i got and jody sue at the time of course i've been studying her forever she's the one i've been researching the most over the past three years or had i don't know more but um she was stating that she believed benny was setting you up so i was thinking maybe these phone calls that i got was a part of that now the whole dusty thing ernie in my honest opinion it's not making sense like you kind of sort of remember the motel you kind of sort of remember meeting with dusty but she goes greatly into detail about it and then you guys had an argument on ziggy's panel do you remember that i do vaguely vaguely okay can you tell me what that argument was about well she had uh she had went on another panel against us and I, at that time you know i was running uh there was other things. Well, let's just say this: there was other things in the works besides Predator Hunter Nation that I was a part of. Of course, you no, know, even Predator Hunter Nation was part of that. But I was working like a few, a few different things. Uh, that was before, you know, that was before everything had changed over. That was before the, the task force was shut down. That was before a lot of uh, the, the Predator companies. If it, uh, the, the, nobody. Mother, this is Crystal Crime conversation. Even really, I think. Crystal Crime and something. Oh, that was. They had, uh, they ain't really got nothing to do with this, but anyways, I uh, can you uh, channel. Too much, but, uh, Let me get the link. you know, with, uh, with Dusty, I, I never, I don't think I ever met her face to face. I don't think I did. I may have met her. I don't know if she was at the track. I can't remember. I can't remember that. Uh, I only remember a couple people track. that we talked to. Link. She was at the track and you guys all had a few recordings together during <laughs> the search and you 
recordings I'm asking you to put out, it's the recordings at the motel where they were saying five kids were being trafficked and they're being taken to a blood mobile what? and they were being taken Still blood from. I played it last night, but she was stating that you were very involved in, and her story is quite in depth. So I'd prefer if you came back up another night. I, Ernie, listen, I believe based on Jody Sue that there's a big, big possibility that both setting but some more the next question is you well, know, look, here's the thing I can't give out okay, the, t- the TBI contacted me but the new TBI guys contacted me just the other day and we went through a whole bunch of stuff and there's only so much so many so much things I can actually say and what I can't say but the fact of the matter is you know so you're working undercover for the for the TV I'm not, I'm not undercover. I'm not, I'm not talking Bernie's about that. Here. I'm just, look, there's just certain things that I can say that, that I was right about, that they agree to that I was right about. So that, that's all I can say with it. So when Candace was staying with Kathy, you were in contact with her a lot at that time, huh? I had uh, <laughs> 39,000 text messages with Candace. I think it was 39 or 43. I thought I had it that. It was 43,000, I believe. She told you where Yelling someone was or something? The that's wit. still under investigation. Oh. Um, do you have a law enforcement badge now? So you're not like considered part of law, invest- law enforcement? I would say I'm more <laughs> like a, an overpriced security professional. That's that's not a lot to say. Okay. I understand Thanks. that. All right. Um, <laughs> do you believe Benny was setting you up? Uh, Benny, Benny's got a lot to do with the volume. Well, what does Jody Sue believe Benny was setting you up for? Do you know? Have you and Jody? Well, I guess I'll find. I guess I'll. I guess I'll find that out when I have coffee with her here in the next couple days. Set this up for another time, and you can schedule it uh, when I'm free, and uh, we'll we'll continue it then. I do. I do appreciate you. I do appreciate the person who reached out to me uh, uh, via Facebook. You guys can contact me, Lightning Tiger, uh, on Facebook. But yeah, I do think it's time that the Summer Wells case needs to be uh, solved. Well, see, here's my thing, Ernie. I'm just trying to get to the truth of everything and how everybody met. Yeah, that's who played us for fools, and uh, we don't really. uh, I'm just curious how Kathy would reach out to you and she why she was acting like you and her were friends for a very long time. Like she was on her, like she had you in the back pocket. Like, yeah, let me call Ernie. Well, I mean, and help Dusty, and then you get down. We got to remember. but you also we had, said we had you have to understand we had so you know when we started when we started the second week we put anything uh out on uh, youtube and uh anything out on tiktok and what we do we hit millions and millions of views the whole world millions. you know with this hat it, i mean i can't go nowhere and wear my hat hell i can be in uh uh freaking west virginia or over towards south carolina or north carolina and have this hat on and people remember under nation it's just it's just that I can't go anywhere and do that because of you know what we did with uh, the predator hunts. Tim Mellons, we don't get along. Let's just say that. I don't, I don't think we would. Get, if we actually ever met, I'll other, share it again, person to person. He's in we the chat right along, now. So no. Okay, you've never spoken to him. No. Not Tim no. Mellons. So how do you know you didn't get along? Uh, we we would not get along because he, he he ran from me when he seen me. So. He ran from you. Tell me about that. Yeah, we was at we was at uh well. I was I, I can't remember it was the first, I think it was the first one because Miss Daisy about ran me over in a car. Um, oh, so I dressed as this. I had a silicone mask and I dressed as this old person and I went to the vigil. I didn't get around much. Actually, I walked around Dolly and Dolly didn't even recognize me. And uh, we we got back to the we got back to the SUV and I was taking the the damn mask off. And when you, if anybody knows anything about taking silicone mask off, you peel some shit away first and you pull it as hard as you can. Hope to God it just comes off in one big lump sum and you know all that. But anyways. Uh, when I got when I got done, I pulled. And when I did, the mask went in the vehicle, and I pulled out. And I turned around, and Tim was walking. He, I, I saw I saw Tim, so I started walking toward him. When he seen me, he turned around and walked the other way. He was kind of high stepping it. So, and then they said, "Come here, come here," because I was I was, I, it, it was it was it wasn't gonna it, it was gonna be a bad thing because what Tim said about me, and I was gonna I was gonna talk to him, you know. But so, do you know one right. more one more question, Ernie? Do you know the real going on though? Name, not, not, I don't think I really knew the person by the name. <laughs> oh, one more. Have you met with Dawn in, like in person? No, I'm saving that for here soon. You are, but you've met with Candace just that one time in oh, person, Lord. or was there more? Two or three times. You've met her two or three times in person. 
Yes. That's interesting. Can you tell me when those were? When when she came over, when she, when she came over. Uh, Thank you. For the the whole hell of Beirut police force showed up because Benny Keys was calling, Genevieve was calling, every you know all these people was calling on us and say we kidnapped Candace. Y'all remember that, right? You remember that? Yeah. So the SWAT team pretty much showed up on us at uh, Predator Hunter Nation, and uh, they went. They searched looking for Candace and wanting to know where Candace was at. Of course, you know. Uh, the deed well, had wait, been done pretty wait, much. A minute, wait a minute you're saying they came to your compound and searched for candace huh yes what okay because candace yeah, I... went live candace went live with me on live and she was crying i just have to stop the task but why would they be searching for her if she's not under arrest or anything like that i haven't heard about that has anyone else heard that and i told benny i said what you done to her and what you what you all done that's when she was crying and she put her head on my shoulders. Remember that? Mm -hmm. I'd already knew what happened with everything at that time. With Summer too? Yes. Why doesn't the TBI and FBI and police have her? Because at that time, Hawkins County was over everything and TBI was just assisting. Now, TBI is over everything. Oh, There's a big difference between okay. who's over and who's assisting. I think assisting. I remember that now. It's just when like when we there. wanted to set up the sting operation to get it personal. Well, and anybody, it would have been a lot of but I mean, you call your tips into TBI Find. You haven't done that to tell them where Summer is if Candace told you where she is? Oh, that's already been taken care of. I feel like they would have Summer if that was true, though, Arnie. <laughs> no, not necessarily. What but, do you think of Hill? Um, <laughs> I don't know him. I heard about him. Uh, they want me to do an interview with him. They want him and I to do an interview. Uh, never met him. Uh, like I said, I just heard about him. I do know his wife was part of Don and Candace's uh, sex parties. I do know that. I've got that verified. Lord. Uh, she would say Ziggy. that. So. Wait, it's, hold on. His no. wife, Ziggy, or his wife, Laura? No, the Laura, Laura. I mean, she'll verify that herself. I mean, hell, Don took her many times on, on that. So these people are all alleged to have had these sex parties at Don and Candace's house? That's what I'm hearing. He talked about the sex parties earlier and that people had reached out to him to confirm the sex parties. Oh, Lord. Look, they did videos on these parties. They did videos on these parties sometimes. Don's a freak. Don's a dominatrix. He's a into the freak. Don shit. He's into that shit. He's into the videos and shit. There's video that proof? camera and shit that went missing. What do you think was all on that fucking camera? Everybody fucking want me. Where's the proof? There's video proof? Where's the proof? The what? Shit. Think about it. It don't take rocket science. But how do you know you know the Dom? Wait a minute. Oh, Lord, you're you're dumbass. It don't take rocket science to figure it out that you're lying. It's still an investigation, and I, I'm only allowed to say so much. And I, like I said, I, you know, I, I wanted to talk about, you know, the piece, the pieces that I am able to say. The, the thing about it is, I, the, the reason I believe there's no arrest made right now, they've got the answers. They just don't have the puzzle. They don't have the puzzle. They don't have the connections that they need. Maybe they want to take about five or six of them out. It's a, it's a, it's a ring. It's what it is. It's always been a ring. You name it. I'm sorry. And the chat knows it, and the people know it, and that's why they're starting to open I'm up so now because they're listening. Because everything I said in two years ago, you know, it is what it is. Who's in the ring? Yeah. Well, look, that whole listen, look, look. It's a, it's a, it's a fact. It's, it's, it's simple, it's simple, easy. That whole damn hill, that whole damn hill. If you look in the sexual, it's the sexual registry databases. If you look up NSLPW, you're gonna find out a hell of a lot more than what anybody would find out about that damn hill. All you gotta do is put the damn zip code in and put however quarter of a mile or, or just address for there. You're gonna find out a lot more than you will in your sexual registry database. I guarantee you that. So, what leads you to believe that Cher, Dawn, and Benny were connected before Summer went missing? Because I made uh, Benny uh, admit it on a live, and it scared the shit out of him pretty much. But anyways, they switched out so many times now, but now that TBI is fully over everything, it's going to be a lot better, I believe. So do you think that there's any possibility that Summer was abducted? No. No, I don't. She was abducted, but she was abducted by her own people. Yeah, but I mean, like, my concern is, is you have this Fred Hill down the road who's a known addict he's been on ziggy's have you been paying attention to the interview that's what they said SG. yeah but fred hill ain't got nothing to do with this fred hill ain't got nothing to do with this i already have it i already had the connections i've already put it together for people i've already showed you what it was summer hit her head hit the water and it was bleeding don knew that they would have to take her to the hospital listen it's fact if you listen to the interviews don admits he was there when summer went missing go look at go listen to the brian the brian eaton or whatever interview he said yeah, we just weren't paying attention. We weren't paying attention when she went missing. That ain't what happened. That ain't nothing what happened. 
Don Will was there. He's not even look. Even every time I go up on panel with him, he gets down. He yeah, don't answer the hard questions because he knows the guy. No, but don't you think the TBI would have found blood, or the cadaver mm -hmm. dogs, or the scent dogs would have picked up the injury? Not when they get rid of the evidence. Not when they get rid of the evidence. The timeline is not right. People, I've been saying that from the beginning. The well, timeline. Suppose, summer didn't I go. Summer didn't go missing. Listen, summer. Summer went missing a lot earlier, or a lot earlier. If you go, if you look at the timeline, there's three or four hours. That's unaccounted for. That's unaccounted for. The the scream, the scream, I believe is real. Even. Look, even every time I go up on panel with him, he gets down. He no, don't answer the hard questions because he never got it. No, but don't you think the TBI would have found blood or the cadaver mm -hmm. dogs or the scent dogs would have picked up the injury? Not when they get rid of the evidence. Not when they get rid of the evidence. The timeline is not right. People, I've been saying that from the beginning. The well, timeline. Suppose, summer didn't go. Summer didn't go missing. Listen, summer. Summer went missing a lot earlier. Or a lot earlier. If you go, if you look at the timeline, there's three or four hours. That's unaccounted for. That's unaccounted for. The the scream. The scream. I believe is real. I believe the scream is real. I believe it's real. I agree. That's the only part of the timeline. I agree. Because. Okay. But look, I'm going to be honest with you. Candace told me, listen, Candace told me that Don, after, after the accident at the lake, Don took her, or they took her back to home. Don was there. Don took her to where the mattress is at, throw the mattress down, throw her on top of it, hit her in the head with the claw hammer. And then he took the pillow and smothered her. What do you think Benny had I to have the pillow for? It, 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 don't, it, it ain't rocket science. I come from Candace's own mouth. I, what did you say? I said, I hope he has to answer to the things that he's saying not legally. I, thought, I hope he has to answer. I mean, it's like I said earlier in this. If you <clears throat> if you make statements in such a an open case like this, you're opening yourself up for others to call. There's a lot of people that follow the case that pick up and hear these things. Oh, they already call. have. But every time you do stuff like this, they're just going to call in. They're going to call the TBI and say, this guy says he said he's holding on to info that he didn't turn in. This guy said he saw so-and-so hit with a hammer. I mean, you're just going to bring yourself more stress and trouble because they're going to come looking for you to question you, thinking that you're withholding evidence and stuff. So you're just going to bring on more trouble to yourself. So that's all I'm saying. I'm not, like, attacking yeah. or anything. Yeah, Hattie's, I don't, I don't believe nothing that he says. Uh, I said I would physically have to see it in real time. Mm -hmm. to, to well, even if you make it up or not, you're opening yourself up for them yes. to question and ask. We, we can say, oh, that's fake. He's just saying that. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. The story, that, but they don't know that. And there's others I'm that are going to take him. the word for it and turn it in, which in turn Answering makes people Hattie. come to question you. I was just yeah. answering Hattie. That's what I was telling her. Oh, I don't believe nothing that he says. It's just him making accusations like that. I hope he has to face some consequences for it legally. And there has been there has been people that's called. You just said it was fact again. Yeah, yeah. This is what the story has been lately. So, all right, let's see what else comes out of it after he just ended up on it's a fact. So, let's see. I've already told the TBI. I've already done it. You know what? They think I'm right. They, they That's the exact words. They's like, well, you know, uh, when law enforcement contacted me the other day, they was like, you know, we're thinking on the same lines. Yeah, but the mattress is already gone. So there, there you go. There you go. That, that's how easy it was to wrap up. Okay, Ernie, 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 chill. I don't mean for you to yell at me. And I'm not trying to yell at you. This is not an attack. I'm not yelling. It just aggravates me because these people are the damn monsters and pe people only know them when they're in a public side view they don't know them what happened you know beforehand they didn't do their field interviews none of these youtubers done their field interviews they don't even know what a damn field interview is nobody knows what pretexting is nobody even knows even nothing about that shit i did i oh, did that's that's and i got my answers key word right there is youtube creators we're not criminal investigators we're not law enforcement it's not on us to do no kind of research or investigations to go digging and snooping and inserting our nose into a missing child's investigation the way that he has to disrupt a case that is still active. We don't claim to be law enforcement like he does or investigators like he does. We don't claim to be those people. So for to sit and say that these YouTubers haven't done their investigations, it's not it's not our job to do that. Nobody here is going to solve shit. But do you, but do you don't believe there's any other possibility? Because my thing is, is that if all that happens, that mattress, the sheet, the nasty, dirty shit that's still on there, Summer's blood would have been on there. Especially it wasn't there. It, was it was not there. there. It was not there. It was not there. They done away with it. Don said they throwed it in the back of the truck and done away with it. So how was there a picture of it then? Ernie, there's how was there a picture of it if they immediately throwed it away? How was there a picture of it? I thought that it was he in the showed. house. I thought it was that in the house on the floor, he the mattress. Yeah, that that one was, but he showed a picture of a mattress down at the back door at the basement propped up against the wall. And he's saying that's the mattress. Okay, so I don't remember they, that picture. They immediately took the mattress away and done away with it and then brought it back and somebody took a picture of it? Think about so it. So that's you know. the mattress you're saying? The one that was propped up? Ernie, there's pictures of it all over the place. That's what you just said. It returned. The they done away with it for the time being. 
Ask him. He'll tell you. See, they done away with it for the time being. If you look at the time, exactly you know, you got rid of it. That's exactly what, what you just thing. said. Yep. Right after you said. Yeah. But look at the pictures. It shows back in like November. It's the same fucking mattress. It still has the same stain on it. That is not no pop stain, people. Mattresses absorb pop. They don't absorb blood, oh. Fact. But why would they keep the blood-stained mattress right there for all of us to see on YouTube? Fact. You don't think? Why would Benny have to have it? Why would Benny? Why would Benny? No, not when the police. No, I don't. Not no, not when I know. Not when the sheriff's son is on pedo himself. He's part of the ring. No, I do not. No, I do not. No, I do not. Why would Benny have to have the pillow for it? And then he cried along the way. You know, this is all a bunch of. It's a bunch of bullshit. Is what it is. Okay. It's all a bunch of bullshit. It, these, that is the implication there that Lawson is involved in this? Hey, uh, people. Have I know that, that his son. I, I know that his son went to jail and, and didn't get charged. In my opinion, the right charge. I mean, the right time for the charge. That's one whole separate story. But that sounded like the implication was it wasn't checked out because he's involved in it. I mean, that's the implication I got from that statement. That's why it wasn't checked. The mattress. I mean, I'm assuming that's a theory, but it sounded like it was said as fact. That's all. These people, Candace and Don, need to go down. They both need needles in their arms and done with. Damn. Simple as that. That's my that's my take on it. Well, you're allowed to have your opinion. That's what I allow over here. I'm not saying you don't. I don't want to argue with anybody. Right I'm just asking questions, trying to make people understand what it is you're saying because, you know, evidence is a big thing. And if you think that the Wells took the mattress away and brought the mattress back, they did, and they brought it back. They did. They hid it. They hid it. They hid it. They did. That's been. Said. It will there in some pictures. Look, in some pictures, it's not even there, right? You, you agree, right? Before they done all the things, but then in some pictures, it is. In November, it shows back up, or I think it was October. I have to go back and look at my files. You okay, look at the well, timeline. Well, look when Ernie, it disappears. Ernie, Ernie, we can prove that right now. Jody Sue, are you still in the chat? You were up on the hill bringing them food and grabbing money from them. Andy, are you still in the chat? Was that mattress there that night while you guys were looking? While the police were there, did you see the mattress? Ernie, that is not possible. Please stop saying it. Those two are deaf able to beat those kids in the head face areas, though many of us have proof and testimony that they are. I don't understand what that's to. There you go. They did beat him. They did beat him. And he did. Yeah. He did. Like, like, like Don Wells in an interview with me, he says they done away with the evidence. They probably done away with the evidence and then they probably killed her. Well, where's the evidence at? What was the evidence? That was a sexual molestation. He was raping his own daughter. I don't give a damn why anybody says. I can prove that. Who can his own words? And you've sent all of that to the TBI? I've sent everything. Proving is harsh words, so I hope that's turned I just in. don't understand if you've sent all that to them, why Summer's not. Okay, so did she tell you what happened to why do you think? Why do you think that less than 1% of all cases ever go solved, right? That's fact. You know that, right? Less than 1% of missing children are ever found. So did, she not tell you what they, did she tell you what they did with Summer after Dawn did all that? The phone went dead after that. Candace was crying. Candace was screaming. Oh. When we were talking about... This is, a, this is actually that. on the phone. Not the part where I was talking to her in live person. So she started telling me what had happened in the car when I was on. Okay. Then she said, it's getting late. I've got to go fish. i got to go to my fishing hole. And I said, Where, where's your fishing hole? Oh, well, I don't tell nobody that. You wouldn't tell nobody where that's at. Okay, so Jody's disagreeing I, with you. Jody, do you know if the mattress was there the night Summer went missing after Ernie? Or are you hitting on Jody? <laughs> no, she's hitting on me. She's hitting all on missing you? Big point. Y'all missing a big point. You. Really, seriously. There's players in the you? game. Oh, I want to know now. Now we got to know the scoop. Is she hitting you the up players, in the There's players in the game. They can text and do these messages right now. There's people watching this. It's can some of my mods please po post some psych info help assistance? If anyone needs any psych help, thank you. Anyways, that's 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 my say on what happened. That's uh, that's that's no, from a uh, couple different nobody. things. Uh, the hammer's been brought up two or three different times. If you have actual witnesses that actually participated in actual proof that this happened, I hope you turned it into the dang TBI.